Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Luke Noir. You probably never seen me on YouTube before. That is because I'm new to this. So I'll just tell you a bit about myself and we'll kick off from there. We'll re review on this hoodie. So yeah, I'm 18. I'm from Leeds, which is a city up north. Which is probably where I've got a weird accent to you all. I'm not from London. Or other cities you know in England, if you're from the UK. Uh, yeah, just recently thought, why not get into fashion vlogging? Because that's pretty much all I spend my money on nowadays. Clothes, clothes, shoes, clothes. So yeah, I thought I'd give you an inside of my wardrobe. So basically on this channel I'm going to be doing like outfits of the day, tips and tricks, um, affordable looks, high end looks, reviews, you name it, you comment what you want, I'll do it for you. So yeah, I just want to kickstart my channel off with this high end streetwear brand. Off-White by Virgil Abloh. This is the Caravaggio hoodie. I've had it ages now. I picked it up like immediately when it got released in 2014, 2015. To like two, three seasons ago. And I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm not going to lie. It does sound a bit gay. But I absolutely adore it. So I picked it up from Antony Lee, Antony Lee, how do you say it? I don't even know how we say it, I'll have a double check now. Antony Lee. That is how we say it. So it's, it costs £300, but that is when I, as soon as it like got released. So I picked it up straight away, like no sales, as soon as it came out. And literally, I'm in love with it. I haven't like got many like white outerwear items. Like I wear a lot of white t-shirts, but I like at the time I absolutely wanted a white outerwear item, and I saw like but I didn't want like a plain like white hoodie that like, I can get from like Top Man, ASOS, anywhere. I wanted something that like stood out. And I found this. And what can I say? It stands out a lot. So, yeah. I'll start with the image in the centre of the hoodie. It's an image of Michelangelo, the famous, the famous, the famous artist from the 17th century. From Italy, Venice, I believe. Yep, I think so. Uh, yeah, it's. You can tell it's definitely high in fashion. Because if you could feel it, but you can't, because you're on the other side of a computer screen, you'd you'd understand how good quite like. It's not like any you no know, like normal vinyl printed t-shirt or anything it is good quality thick it's f thick printed hasn't just stuck an image of Michelangelo on his hoodie like it could have done that and probably st still sold millions didn't know if sold millions but yeah So, Virgil Blur hasn't just slapped this image of Michelangelo on the, the hoodie. He has created a tapered effect. So he's used like little sh sh rectangular, which I think, I believe represent, like, if you sellotape something to a wall, like a poster, like, I think he's tried to sellotape it, like create a cellar. Create like a So 
So Mike, so Virgil Abloh, he hasn't slapped this image on the middle. Probably could get away with that anyway. He's had a bit more of an effect to make look like to make it look like it's been tapered down with like tape on the edges. And this this tape is absolutely amazing. It's an absolute amazing quality. Like He's used like tape to fucking hell that's come off that. So Virgil Abla hasn't just slapped an image of Michelangelo on his hoodie. He's added a bit more of an effect and used this, these little strips of rectangular vinyl to make it look like it's been like attached to the hoodie so it doesn't fall off basically and the quality of these I don't know if you can see there I'd focus that a bit on you probably won't get it far too now I'm not going to do that because probably won't focus it I'll give you like a few shots later like close ups of it I'll show you there. You might have seen me show you a video by Justin Bieber where he wears a similar hoodie like this. However, his image is of angels, I believe, in the centre, and it's tapered down like pink, pink stripes at the edge of the image, which I think stands out a lot more on this pink hoodie. But it's still an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous piece of. Could you poss possibly say art? But yeah, and we've got these chevron on the chevrons on the arm, and on the back we've got white thirteen. So yeah, it, so basically, there's designs on every single part of this hoodie. Or however, on the kangaroo pocket at the bottom, on the Justin Bieber hoodie, it has white like written there. So you can distinguish that it's a white hoodie, off-white hoodie. That's possible like the only feature I'd want to add to this hoodie. Apart from that, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is an extra large. Now I'm six foot one, but I prefer baggier hoodies because one, they're a lot comfier, and two, if you think about it in the long run, I've paid three hundred pounds for this hoodie, and I don't want to be like getting rid of it after two to three years because it's too small or too tight. So, plus it's a one season item. And you can't get these anywhere else anymore. Probably could possibly catch a few on eBay. But apart from that, nowhere else stocks them. Because it's a uh, it's on to spring summer 16 now, aren't we? But you might find similar hoodies like this. Like the autumn winter 2016 one, which is not like this. It's like the Justin Bieber hoodie I showed you earlier. It's like that, similar to that, but it's got this distressed look on it. Like all the graphics are distressed. So the chevrons on the arm sleeves, they're all distressed. And the main image I believe is of waves. So it's like blue, light blue. Light blue tapered down. The back's white without the 13 with the chevrons, but like distressed. So it's not like full blocked like on this other. But yeah, yeah, I'd say it's a lot of people say it's true to size. So it's 
to what rail are you you prefer. A lot of people prefer true to size. A lot of people prefer normal fitting hoodies. Some prefer baggy hoodies, like myself. Just different things rock people's different boat, I guess. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching my first ever video. Just tell me how I've done, leave me a bit of feedback, like, comment, subscribe, comment what you'd like to see in future videos, various other things. I'll hit you with my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram if I'm not, I don't know if I'm making an Instagram yet, we'll decide. But apart from that, peace out.